<laughs> Whoa, Will Trax! I'm Bobby the Wolf Mullets, your paranormal shock jockey DJ, the outlaw. The number one bad boy in paranormal, as you can tell by the belt, I am the heavyweight champ. Many have tried, many have failed, and I'm still standing. That's right. I even worked with a network before, and I'm the only one left. That's right. Call me stupid, call me crazy, but you know what? I'm determined. I'm going to keep doing this show. I'm going to bring enlightenment to the masses. All right, guys. Give me a disclaimer right quick. If you don't like what you see, if you don't like what you hear, the topics, the language, fucking A, the equipment. I love my girl. Ah, God knows we got to put something in her. You see what I'm saying? In her. Sight gag. Sight gag. Sight gag. All right, anyway, then turn me off. But if you like what you see, you like what you hear, the topics, the language, the equipment, put something in her. Then turn me on, by God. Now, let's get to the show, shall we? Look, I had an idea. The wolf has an idea every once in a while. You know, it's because of research and development. Now, if you look around the world, Egypt in particular, in particular, look at the obelisks, ancient alien theorists theorize that the obelisks are a antenna, something to conduct electricity worldwide, because there's obelisks all over the planet. I got to thinking, this might be a little odd, but, oh by the way I gotta give a shout out to a friend of mine named Queen. I forgot to give you a shout out on a couple shows back. My bad, baby. You hooked your brother up. And thank you. And I got to give a shout out to True Fix. Get your fix. Snort your fix. Take your fix. Shove it up your ass. I don't care. Get a hold of Kevin Graham. G-R-A-H-A-M on Facebook. Also known as the Death Adder. And uh, dude, guys, this is amazing shit. It uh, literally gives you energy weight loss. Make your sticker pack out, if you know what I'm saying. Sticker pack out. Uh, nothing burns like beer. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm a 24. I'm working on a 24 pack. So give me a break. But it also gives you superhuman drinking ability. It's a wonderful thing, and I'm gonna slip that in there because I have the only true fix koozie. Now, also, I'm going to give a shout out to KWAM990. Uh, tune in. Uh, I want my fans to do this. I want my fans to tune in. I want them to check out KWAM990 on Saturdays at 12 noon. Apparently, they're prom promoting themselves as the uh, promoting, promoting is the word of the day, class. Promoting. Not promoting. Promote. 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 Themselves as the new morning show. But it's 12 p.m. I think that's the word. I don't know. Anyway, check out the Cat and Rich Show. 12 p.m. Saturdays on KWAM 990 AM. Apparently the standard by which all radio shows will be judged. I don't know. Anyway, um, now that I give my gratuitous shout-outs, uh, let's get back to the show, shall we? Uh, I'm going to drink, and we're going to raise the hell. We're going to discuss something I think is kind of cool. It struck me funny. Uh, obelisks. Ob 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 obelisks. You know the, the you know like the uh, uh, the one in Washington. The older ones is what I'm talking about. The ones that are of granite or granite that have a quartz mix to them, and quartz, when squeezed or struck, uh, promote a bit of an electrical current. Now they're saying that they could have been a power source or antenna. Uh, we're going to listen to a group called Universe. They're from Sweden, 1985, I believe. This is the only album they ever put out. So enjoy. Turn it down a little bit so we can hear the old wolf's vocal acuities. Um, wolf's got please, sorry. But anyway, the obelisks are made of granite. Or granite, all of them. And supposedly they conduct electricity, so they're antennae. Um, this struck me as funny because if you look at the Crystal Cave, 
uh, uh, the one where they found the 39 foot, you know, five some odd ton large crystal, uh, and it's full of crystals. This is what struck me as funny, guys. The Earth is what 65 million years old, supposedly, and the way these crystals formed in this underground cave that these brothers found apparently it's rare nothing burps like beer but think about it how long has the earth been around and how long have these certain circumstances been around to form these large crystals we know that ancient man copied things he or she saw now think about that let that resonate for a second we're talking about obelisks ancient man copied shit let that resonate now, look where all the obelisks are. The ancient ones, not that fucking one in Washington, not that stuff. Of ancient. Now, think about this for a second. If it was a power source, if it was an antenna or a, a thing to stabilize the magnetic field on the planet, blah, 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 then I don't think it would be made out of granite and etched with hieroglyphs or whatever. What if, and, and this is pure speculation, pure speculation, pure speculation, like the guy from Ancient Aliens, pure speculation, the old dude that uh, uh, Giorgio Sokolos loves to death, pure speculation, the Swedish guy, or whatever. Anyway, think about this. What if the obelisks are a copy of what were standing there originally? What if ancient Earth grew quartz crystals the size? Because now we have crystals. We found them 39 feet tall, feet tall. These things are the size of telephone poles. They weigh tons. What if, what if, guys, on these pedestals, there were granite or stone obelisks? What if they were quartz crystal obelisks? We already know a quartz crystal conducts electricity. Small ones are in watches and all that to keep time and whatever. But what if you had one 39 feet tall? The current level off this thing would be insane. Think about it. So now, could you do a world grid with this? A world grid. Now, let that, let that, let that sink in. Let's tell you to open your eyes, open your mind, open your ears. You know, think about that for a second. What if, what if, through time, because crystal breaks, what if through time it broke? Or, considering the ancient alien theorists actually think this also, <clears throat> the alien races or gods helped us technology wise. Hold on, the chair is going down again. You gotta love a chair that slowly goes down. What if, all right, and I talked about this on another show, they helped us, they did their thing, taught us agriculture, astronomy, math, whatever, but then they left. Well, they take all their technology with them. What if they took all the obelisks with them? And then man, in its primitive state, decided, well, we still want electricity, let's copy it. This is a first on Wolf Tracks, guys. This is a first on Wolf Tracks. Ancient aliens do not talk about this. No theorist in ancient alien technology, no Egyptologist talks about this. This is a first on wolf tracks, guys. This is an actual first on wolf tracks. I've had several firsts. This is one of them. This is kind of important. What if those obelisks didn't have hieroglyphs or writings on them? What if they were giant quartz crystals? Think about the earth forming. The crystals would have formed in large amounts. All right? There's a place called Serpent Mound. It's in America. America! It's in America, and where the it's a it's a it's a bear mount, Indian bear mount. It's a snake. Well, supposedly it's where a meteor or something hit. Birds lose their lose their tracking ability; they get lost in it and all that stuff. But the mouth of the snake has a, what looks like an egg in it, and in the egg is supposed to be a, a stone obelisk. Now, what if? Now, this is the theory. This is the theory behind it. What if at one time there was a quartz obelisk in the center of that egg? And it did something. It performed a function. Now, when said aliens, 
or extraterrestrials or beings who visited said planet left, they took their obelisks with them, man, in his primitive state, recreated or carved out obelisks out of stone. Now, the obelisks of stone that we're talking about for the snake or serpent mound is actually off to the side. It's been broken and it's left off to the side. I said in a previous show, stand that bitch up and let's see what happens. But I honestly think if you have a quartz standing there, that you will see what you want to see. This is actually a first on Wolf Tracks. Okay, guys, that's how important this is. This is a first on Wolf Tracks. You're not fathoming, fathoming, fathoming. You're not understanding. Apparently, the beer is getting the wolf. I'm digging into a 24 pack and I'm pretty deep in it. So, fuck off. But anyway, if it's quartz and it's a crystal and it's 12 or so feet tall and it's attracting lightning and power source and whatever, then you might see the aliens are looking for. You might see what the ancient ancestors and or aliens designed it for. I think if the obelisks in Egypt were replaced, if we could find these giant quartz crystals and replace them with the quartz crystals, we would see what we wanted to see. Remember, first on wolf tracks, guys. Because look at the shape of an obelisk. Look at the shape. Then look at the shape of the crystal, the way it forms. It's similar. It's very similar to an obelisk. Now, true enough, they're using granite. No one knows how they carved it. It's, you know, they use stone balls and copper chisels and brass saws with sand and all what, whatever. But my point is, if it's crystal, if it's actually pure crystal, quartz, then it would produce the electrical current you're looking for. Okay? And if you think about primitive Earth and how large everything was, no one no one no one went crystal hunting in the Stone Age. You know what I mean? No one no one went out and thought, well, that'll be a pretty necklace, or it'll be a pretty centerpiece on my table, or on my hen table, or on my counter, or whatever. No one thought that. These crystals grew to an enormous rate or enormous size. And I think when they made like the Temple of Ball, the landing platform, I think when they came down and made that, that landing platform, they also made obelisks to help power their devices. Uh, look at Puma Punku. Look at Gobekli Tipe. Look at uh, Tia Teokan. Look at all these places. I believe they were powered by a large quartz crystal obelisk. Why are obelisks so important to humans? Okay? That's the thing you've got to think about. Why are they so important to humans? Okay? They are important because they were a power source at one time. They, they help society get through light things, power things, create things. It was power. You even go further. If you link it to the Great Pyramid being a power plant, or that mountain in, well, I guess it's the Himalayas or something, it's a pyramid they said power came from. Or you can look at the uh, the tower that uh, is a Hindu thing that was actually, it's the, it's the blueprints to a nuclear tower. And uh, you, can, you can look at different cities, ancient cities that have been vitri uh, vitri uh, blah, 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 have gone through vitrification, that's the word, vitrification because of a, an extreme heat blast. And stone or sand only goes through vitrification through a, an, extreme, or, or a, uh, an, an, an extreme heat blast. Uh, uh, hence, a nuclear blast. So you've you got to realize that some of these power plants have eroded over time, um, uh, were compromised, and blew. They, they literally blew, like, uh, like uh, I don't know, the, the Cleveland Browns blow. They blew. So anyway, they, they went nuclear and leveled shit, and things 
uh, stone structures, uh, sand and whatever, went through what's called vitrification, which is a, uh, an extreme heating of the stone where it turns to glass. But anyway, uh, give me your thoughts on this, guys. Uh, hit share, hit like down below. Uh, get with me. Uh, uh, share it with your friends. Uh, just post it and have a good laugh. Whatever. Laugh at the wolf if you want to. Drink with the wolf. Uh, and uh, let me know what you think. Open your eyes. Open your mind. Open your ears. Pay attention to what walks by, flies by, and or crawls by or slithers by. And uh, send to Bobby the Wolf Mullins at one white wolf zero seven zero six at eighteen two dot net. And uh, if you get a picture of it, uh, send it to Bobby the Wolf. But anyway, I'm gonna get off here, guys. Uh, it's been a pleasure once again talking to y'all, letting y'all listen to me, or me talking to y'all, or whatever. I'm gonna get off here. Udo. Dose. Trace. And remember, guys, remember, holler at your boy. Holler at your boy and drink one for the